Many-to-many -many relationships are very common and can be modeled in several different ways using NoSQL. Here are the two most common patterns for modeling many-to-many -many relationships. Imagine you're creating an app for an online school that has courses and instructors. There's a many-to-many -many relationship between instructors and courses, but it's bounded because an instructor can only teach so many courses and a course can only have so many instructors. In a relational database, you might have a table called courses and another table called instructors. Then you would have a junction table called courses instructors that would store the relationship between courses and instructors. In NoSQL, you can simplify this by embedding a list of instructor keys in each course document and a list of course keys in each instructor document. This is known as two-way embedding. Let's see what this looks like in code. Here, I've imported the Redis Ohm library and I'm modeling courses with a name field and an instructors field that's a list of strings representing the unique keys for instructors. I also have an instructors collection with a name field and a courses field that's a list of strings representing the unique keys for courses. Here's how you can index things to enable searching for instructors and courses. And this is how you get the courses taught by an instructor. Lastly, here's how you get the instructors for a course. Looking at this in Redis Insight, you can see courses and instructors. If you look at a course, you can see a list of the instructors who teach the course. And if you look at an instructor, you can see the courses they teach. The two-way embedding pattern works well when both sides of the relationship are bounded. Now consider the relationship between courses and students. Given this is an online school, there could be any number of students enrolled in a course. This represents an unbounded many-to-many -many relationship on the course side. However, the student side is bounded because a student will only enroll in a limited number of courses. In a relational database, you would still model this with a junction table. However, in NoSQL, it makes sense to model it using an embedded list on the bounded side of the relationship. So you would store a list of course keys in each student document. Here I have courses with the name and instructor fields. Since the number of students in a course is unbounded, I won't store a list of students in each course document. Instead, I'm modeling students with a name field and a courses field that is a list of strings representing the unique keys for the courses in which the student is enrolled. Here's how you can index things to enable searching. Here's how you can find students who are enrolled in a course. And here's how you find the courses that a specific student is enrolled in. In Redis Insight, you can see courses and students. Since we chose not to embed students in courses, you won't see it embedded in each course document here. However, if you look at a student, you will be able to see the courses they're enrolled in. This is how you model many-to-many -many relationships when one side of the relationship is unbounded and the other is bounded. To recap, data modeling for many-to-many -many relationships can be represented by embedding one or both sides of the relationship depending upon whether it is bounded or unbounded. If both sides are bounded, then you can embed on both sides. If only one side is bounded, then you should avoid embedding the unbounded side. You should also favor embedding references unless you have information that is primarily static and won't change over time.